you know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. <laughs> Come on, this is this is too much. <laughs> oh my goodness, this one I would never forget. This one I would. Who would have thought that you'd make that kind of sacrifice for me? Eh? <laughs> Let me tell you, I would never forget you. Of course, this means a lot to me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I would have to call you back um, uh, much later. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, I won't forget. Uh, bye. Thank you. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Obwefi iru dike. Obwefi iru dike. The most honorable man that I know outside my father oh. is a If I like one name of his, you know, Obwefi. It is always good to see you. Oh yes, Your Majesty. Huh? Thank you for the compliment. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Please. <laughs> huh? Once again, thank you. Oh, oh yeah. Ah. This visit is all announced, I must say. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, what would you like to take? Uh, Your Majesty, I'm fine. I am not in the mood. You're fine? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, all well and good. Uh, so, uh, to what do I owe this unscheduled visit? Oh, well, Your Majesty, I will go straight to the point. Mm. This is exactly six months since your wife, the late queen, was buried. Traditionally, you are supposed to take another wife that will keep your bed warm. Equally assist you in ruling our people. And most importantly, to perform a queenly role for the women of this kingdom. You have spoken well, Irudike. Um, but I assure you that I am doing all that I can to find a new queen. Your Majesty, if you are crawling in that direction, I have come to advise you that you start running towards it. <laughs> yes. Why? Your Majesty, the kingdom needs a queen that will perform sacred roles for the well-being of the women of this kingdom. And if that all-important role is not performed, in the next two months, Your Majesty, I am afraid the gods will be angry with you. And of course, you know how it always looks when the gods are angry with the people. I hear you, Irudike. I assure you, however, that I'm doing all that I can. And I also promise to hasten the process of finding a new queen. Ah, Your Majesty, I think that will be all for now. I'll beg to take my leave. That will be all. Thank you for caring, I must say. Hello. Andy, how are you? I'm fine, my princess. But Ogwefiru Dike is just leaving the palace, my princess. He was with my brother. Yes, my princess. Why? I do not know at the moment, my princess. But I will find out why he's here and I will get back to you as soon as possible.
Do not only find out why he came. Find out what he discussed with my brother. I will investigate that, my princess, and I will get back to you later. Thank you. You're welcome, my princess. You can go. Do you want with my brother? Finally, the king is getting married. Wow. And that is the reason for the fresh air we are receiving in this palace. You know, ever since the queen died, the presence of a queen has eluded this palace. But I'm glad now that we are going to have another one. Yes, the lucky maiden. Who knows what she really looks like? Well, I may not really say because I don't know her. But whoever that comes as the queen will not be anything less than a goddess. Wait, Jane, why would you say that? Ha. You and I know that our <laughs> king has eyes for good things. Exactly. Wow. I mean, I overheard you, so it's true. So the king wants to take a wife. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, Iridike just reminded him that he has to get married as a matter of urgency. Bam. But you know there is a problem. What problem? The king might take a wife and she serves as a wife alone, but not the queen of this land. Oh, God, Erima, please, please, we do not have time for your logic this hot afternoon. Whoever the king marries automatically becomes the queen of the land. Mames. Like, exactly. Or do you even think the king will have a wife here and a woman outside will be the queen? I wonder. Listen, we are just maids who walk in the palace of Isionyanato kingdom. And we must understand that the rules here is different from other places. I don't even, I don't really understand this girl. Don't understand her. I am happy that the king is, is about to get married. Simple. Today. And we are going to have a new queen in the palace. Please, let's go. Come in. My princess. Ogwifu Duke was here to remind the king he needs to get married. Really? Yes, my princess. And what was the king's response? The king told him that he already had that in mind. But Wilfrid Dike further pressured him. Then the king succumbed to his pressure and told him he was going to get married sooner than later, my princess. Is that all? Yes, my princess. You can go. Thank you, my princess. And Yes, my princess. Thank you for being such an amazing guard to us in this palace. You are deeply appreciated. Thank you, my princess. Saving you gives me joy, my princess. You can go now. Thank you, my princess. The time I've been waiting for is finally here. And I have to act fast. Fast. How are you? Fine. How are you? I can see that. See that. Uh, uh. So, uh, 
What can I offer you? What do you can Don't bother yourself, Ichi. I'm fine. Just like that? You don't want to take anything? I'm okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, so what's the message? <laughs> Ichi, hmm? the king has finally decided to pick another wife. Is that so? Uh, when was this decision taken? Today, after Obuefi Rudike visited him. Yeah. This is good news. <laughs> You've done noble, eh? Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll get back to you soon, eh? I'll call you. Let me give you something for, uh, for your transportation. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let me go back to the Okay, place. my dear. Hi. Thank you very much. Time has finally come and we are going to make good use of it. <laughs> we will make good use of this time. <laughs> and here comes the bright morning star of this United Kingdom. Huh? My sister, the one that I shall continue to hail as an amazing woman. Brother, please don't start. <laughs> but you are my morning star. And I shall continue to hail thee forever. <laughs> your wife will be your morning star, not me. Oh well, you're here. I can see you right in front of me, sparkling as my morning star. When she arrives, then we get to decide if indeed she is or not. <laughs> Speaking of that, when is she arriving? You speak my mind at all times. This is why I have invited you to come talk with your brother. Huh? Okay. Sit down. I have something to say to you. Interesting. I have decided to remarry and give Isio Yenato another queen so that it would not be said that I am the reason things are not functioning well in this kingdom. Beautiful. <laughs> I love this idea. Nice idea. I think you love it. I love it. Um, you know, I always had it in mind to remind you, but I was looking for the right time. And when is the right time? Now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that reminds me. Obwefi Irudike was here an hour ago. Oh yes, he was. I hope you did not have a drink with him. Why would you ask that? That man is diabolic. And men like that have no problem taking a life, not minding the consequences. Wave Hirudike is not evil. Neither is he diabolic. He's just very traditional. That's all. We are actually saying the same thing. Tradition has a lot to do with diabolism. That is why I'm not comfortable with that man around you. Mm. Oh well, uh, I believe that um, with time you get to know him and you see for yourself that he is not evil. Not at all. I hope so. Um, uh, now is the time for us to perfect all that we have planned. Mm -hmm. This is the time for us to perfect it. So, that's why I bought you. Let's. Hmm? You are right. But how do we get it to materialize? Iche, 
we already have three girls penciled down for this job. So we only need to bring them in. Uh, there might be changes to those plans. There might be changes. In fact, there have to be changes to those plans. <laughs> how, how do you mean? Uh, you see, we need to look at those girls holistically. You understand? I, I don't understand what that means. You see, we need girls that will operate with us at the same frequency, you know, at the same level. They have to vibrate at the same frequency that we vibrate. You understand? So that whatever we want them to do, they will be ready and willing to do it at the time we want them to do it. These are the girls we need for this job. Eh? I, I now understand what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. yes. You see, because along the line, eh, we may decide to go wired or even diabolical. You understand? And uh, they, whoever we are using must be ready and willing to mm, go along with us. It is a no no. Also gonna... It is a no no. You have a point. Why not? But how many guests are we looking at? Two or three guys should do. Two or three. Uh, but I thought we already have um, a particular girl in mind. Uh, we're thinking along that line, but uh, you know, we, we don't have to put all our eggs in one basket. Yeah, <laughs> so when you have a plan A, you must have plan B, even C. Exactly. Yeah, oh, that is good. <laughs> that is good. Yeah, so I think, um, in actual fact, we have to get the girls ready before the king will now choose the maiden for the marriage. Exactly. I am working on that. The girls, as a matter of fact, will be with us in our next meeting. <laughs> They'll be oh my, here. Oh my God. Let me take some. Oh, yeah. it oh, oh it is. 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 Ada, let's go straight to why I am here. You see, I've not told you what you did to the king to love you like this. <laughs> Joy, you've started the game now. Well, I did nothing. It's not true, Ada. Come on. We have beautiful and classy girls dying for the king. But the king chose to love you. Ada, you're telling me it's ordinary. Mm -mm -mm. I, don't be, I don't believe you on this one. I don't believe you at all. Joyce, what are you trying to insinuate? So you are trying to tell me that I am not beautiful enough for the king? Dada, you are beautiful. Well, all I can say is that um, the king is God's gift to me. That is all I can say. Do you know why I am asking you this? Why? There is this guy asking me out. This, this guy is cute. He has money. But the girls won't allow him to concentrate. I've been to his house in three different occasions. I met three different girls. That is just the problem. It's a red flag, my sister. You don't need such guy. Please, don't go there. Ada, this guy loves me. And I'm falling in love with him too. But the problem I'm having right now is the girl running around him. That is just my problem. Then you have to pray. Hello. I do go. Keke, man. At the moment, my king. I trust you're doing well. Yes, my king. And you? Uh, well, I'm okay. I'm here. Running the affairs of the palace, as usual. Um, I do go. I would like for you to come to the palace this weekend, if you have the time, of course. Um, that is because I want to introduce you to um, the elders 
in council and also my family members. Yes, my king, I, I will. I will be free. Uh, that is good to know. Uh, thank you very much for obliging me. <laughs> I do. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell um, the chief driver of the palace to come get you. Huh? Okay, my king. Thank you very much. So tell me, um, what are you doing for the rest of the day? My king, I'm at the shop. A friend visited and um, I'm just having a discussion with her. Is that so? Yes. Okay, let me allow you. Uh, have some time with your friend. Oh, okay, my king. Thank you very much. We'll talk again. Bye. Bye bye. He's inviting you over to the palace, right? How did you know? Come on, Ada. I saw it in your response. My dear friend, I am happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank Congrats. you. My princess, welcome. Thank you, Anna. I didn't even know you were coming. Um, it's, it's urgent, so yeah. I had to I had to rush down. Okay, so what if you did not meet me at home? I would have waited for you. Are you serious? But of course, that's how serious it is. Yee. Welcome. You're welcome. So, what do I offer you? We have orange, mango. I don't know if Udara is still remaining. I'm only, like I said, you don't worry. I'm good, okay? I'm all right. Are you sure? If I wanted it, you know I would. I would have said so. Welcome. Okay, um, let me go straight to why I came. Okay. Um, there is something very serious I want us to talk about. Okay. You know, I have always told you that that I see you as the next queen of Isionyenato kingdom. My princess. My princess, you always said that to me, but I've always considered it to be a joke. Well, Angoli, it is not a joke. Because my dream is about to come through. How? Good. My brother, the king, is about to remarry. And um, I want you to be my brother's wife. Me? Yes, sir. My princess. Mm -hmm. Are you joking? Do I look like I'm joking? Rather, the question is, Amelie, will you marry the king? <laughs> My princess. You know, I like your brother. I like your brother so much. And I would like to be his wife if if he will look at me. Then consider it done. Well, that is all that matters. The most important thing is you like him. <laughs> now you will have to start putting yourself together because soon I will introduce you to him. Hey. My princess. Is this real? Mm. It is real, my darling. And it's happening now. Um, we have to make this discussion as um, simple and quick as possible so that you may ask questions. Uh, that is, if you have any questions to ask. No problem, sir. I'm listening. Good. How would you feel if you are to become the wife of the king of Isuenato kingdom? <laughs> it wouldn't be a bad idea, my respected elders. We want you to marry him. That is if you want to. Of course I want. But my question is, why me? You have the qualities of a queen, my dear. That is number one. 
The second thing is that we know you can handle the weirdness that might arise in the process of achieving this goal. You sound like you know me so much. You see, we didn't just set it for you. We ran a background check first about you. Mm. You men do strange things. That is why we are men. Yeah? Uh, any man who cannot trigger and sustain strange things is not a man. In fact, he's not worthy of that appellation, man. I'm fully in. Good. Good. Um, uh, I want you to understand something. Uh, for every good idea, there is always an ulterior motive. Yeah? I hope you know that. Yes, I do. But I would like to know what you want in all this. Beautiful. I will let you know. You see, we want to control the affairs of royalty in Isuyanato Kingdom. Yes, we want to become major stakeholders in royalty here in this kingdom. Now that I know what you want, I'll do it for you. Uh. <laughs> uh, so the case is closed. <laughs> uh, it is, I think we should commence the process immediately. Not yet. But why not? We have to take an oath to seal this agreement within us. Irudike is my name. Sorry about that. I saw you coming now from here. You live around here? No. I came to see Iche Zenunu and his friends. Really? Yeah, do have a lovely day. Obwefi. It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the God. What could she be doing with this evil man? I just hope it's not what I'm thinking. Anyway, it's none of my business. So, how did the meeting go? You see the meeting? <laughs> what happened today, eh? Obro Yeji Oneko. Yeji Rika has always been a troublemaker. It took us two good hours to settle the fight she started before the meeting begins today. Ha! <laughs> Rika again. Eh? I got my brother and my mama. So who did she fight this time? Hmm. It's not who she fought. Though. 
she fought virtually everybody to that meeting. And a boy on her daughter, and a kiri, call a woman, he said. Mama, it's madness. Madness, my dear. <laughs> Forget it, Jirika. You said there is something important you want us to talk about. Mm -hmm. Come and sit Mama. down. Mama, I'm fine here. I'm fine. There is something the princess told me. The princess? What could that be? She said that she wants her brother, the king, to marry me. Chelo? No, now. It's not true. <laughs> this is too good to be true. The same thing I said when she mentioned it to me. But as the discussion progressed, I found out that she meant it. Chelo, are you serious? Tell me, what did you tell her? Ha! Mama, I need to hang away. Tell me now, come on. I told her that I would like to marry the king. You see, you can have she now said she'll take me to go and see him. Hey, yeah, macho, no go no, emego no kana. That means very soon I will answer the mother of law. Nya ne no law. Even of my mom, eh? Dad, eh? Timo. This is what I want. Hey, we buru ne no law. Na zangi di bamba. Mama. <laughs> that place with <fits> you. <laughs> see, why are you joking me? Did you see that? What? And he just walked into the princess's private living room. Is that one a new thing? It's not. What? Does that mean you have been going there? It's a day-to-day -day activity, okay? Just that I don't know what they do behind closed doors. Are you saying it chops the princess? I didn't say that, okay? But it is what it is. I mean, Andy is a man. That means the princess has no class. How could she the same soul to be sleeping with an ordinary guard? Hold it. Andy in all round is a matured man. Okay, he's neat, coordinated, presentable. I mean, it is the princess's choice. The king will be disappointed in her. Yes. Can you just cut this thing? You said Andy entered the princess's chamber, right? Yes. Let's go. I need to hear the princess. Man, Jane. Once again, happy birthday, Andy. Thank you, my princess. I wish you all the best in life. Um, here, these are for you. Wow. Wow. Inside one of these bags, you will find the sum of 50,000 naira. 50,000 naira. And every other thing inside is yours. Thank you, my princess. You're so kind. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much. Andy, you are a very loyal and faithful servant. You deserve everything that is coming to you and even more. Thank you, my princess. Thank you so much. And also, I have asked the chef to bake a cake for you. Wow. There will be a celebration of your birthday later today once the cake is ready. Oh. Thank you so much, my princess. You should stop thanking me, Andy. Like I said, you deserve this and more. Okay? Thank you so much. Take your gifts and Thank go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you once more, my princess. Andy, just keep being good, okay? Thank you, my princess. You're welcome. Thank you. But why did it take the king so long to remarry? Come on, Ella, it's just six months. Six months is not just a remark. People like you makes things difficult. I mean, the man just lost his wife and he needs to mourn her properly. I am not against the king mourning his wife properly. But moving on is where the problem lies. As you can see, Ella, the king is already moving on with another lady. So, there is no cause for alarm. I honestly pitied the king during the period of mourning his wife. How? 
you know, as a man, that blood runs through his veins. He needed something soft to do away with the death of his wife. You're right, Ella. The king has self-control and that is why I like him. You know, one night, I decided to go to his room to be with him. <laughs> what is it? You did what? Erima, I am being honest with you. Eh? But just by his doorside, I saw the, the princess and I diverted immediately. Ella, you have a problem. You have a serious problem. Wait, Erima, I don't understand. Am I not a woman being? Look at me. Wait, don't I look good for the king? Please excuse me. Chanka. Be with the king. Mr. Zadima, I put you in charge of that company because I trust you. I believe in your level of competence. I put you in charge of that company because you are a tested and trusted hand. You're an alumni of the same business school that I attended. I put you in charge of that company because I trust that you will be conscious of your name and not run that business aground. If you have to call me every day to give me updates when it concerns decision making, why then have I put you in charge? Ah, uh, Mr. Zalim. <laughs> I'll have to call you back later. The bright morning star of our family just stepped in. And I cannot keep the princess waiting. Yes. I, I am what? Mm -hmm. I can see you're busy, brother. Yes, that was me sorting Mr. Zadima out. Okay. He calls me almost every day to give me updates uh, on what's happening with the company. I put in his hands. Sometimes it's tiring, you know. Do you have a problem with the constant goals? I have a problem with the concept of work delegation being toyed with. You know, if he has to call me every minute, then the essence of delegation is lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you think so? True. You're right. What's on your mind? There's a lot in your eyes. I can see through you. <laughs> I knew it. I know you want something. My dearest brother. Okay. What do you want? I am so proud of you. I am. Thank you. But brother. I have come to find out if you have a maiden in mind. Yes, I do. Really? <laughs> Who is she? Her name is Adugo. Um, where is Adugo from and who are her parents? I see you have questions. But I have good news for you. She'll be here in a few days. Then you can have a conversation with her one on one and I ask all the questions that you want to ask. I see. <laughs> so, when exactly is she coming? Weekend. Interesting. That means we have, um, we have to give her a bit of royal welcome. As we should. How are you? 
Listen, how else do you want me to tell you that you have to notify me first before coming to my house? I tried calling, but you didn't pick. So I decided to come. I don't like it. Simple courtesy demands that you notify me before coming to my house. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay? What do you want? I brought you a gift. I don't want your gift. <laughs> then you're still angry with me. I am not. Then accept my gift. Listen, is it by force to accept your gift? Eh? I do not want your gift. So when you are done standing here, you leave! <sighs> Rubbish. My love. Gift. You gift for me. What's my love. How else am I going to explain to you that I'm sorry about what happened? Eh? Anureka? Honey? Babum? Andy, your cake is ready. Wow, thank you, my princess. You're welcome. Do you know the king has chosen a wife for himself? Yeah. No, my princess. Yes, he has. And I want you to find out if this said girl is related to Wavy Irodike in any way. I will do that with ease, my princess. And I also want you to find out everything about this girl. Who her parents are, her friends, what she does for a living, everything about this girl. I will do that, my princess. Thank you. You're welcome, my princess. When should I expect a report from you? By the end of today. I will give you a complete report about that, my princess. Thank you. You're welcome, my princess. You can go now. Thank you, my princess. And Andy. My princess. The king will be celebrating your birthday with you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, my princess. Thank you. How are you, my son? Mama, I'm not fine. Eh? What is wrong with you? Mama, Anorika is my problem. She's still, she's still angry with me. No, that is not true. I've spoken with Anorika extensively on that. And she has promised me that she has let go. Oh, no, Mama. Mama, she told me the same thing, but she's not acting it. What did she do? 
I went to see her and she did not even care to give me a seat to sit down. Why? She said I, I, I visited without informing her. Uh, but um, you should have called her before going to see her now. Over on your job. Mama, I called her more than 10 times and she did not pick my calls. Oh. So I was like, maybe something bad has happened. You were JBZ Kefir. When the Don't know. Don't worry. When I get to the house now, eh? I will talk to her. Narurana Mbiyoko. Mama. Mama, I appreciate that. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Mama. Um, uh, I love Anureka so much. Mm. And I want to make her my wife as soon as possible. Hey, it's so bad. When you see her, tell her you love her, not uh, me. Mama. <laughs> hey, Mama, Mama, eh? let, let me drop you off now. No, 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 don't worry. I bought a bunch of plantain and I forgot it at the market. I need to go back to the market to bring it. Eh? Don't worry, Mama. Oh, we'll see you later. Mama. <laughs> hey, I love America so very much. My name is Oh. Who amongst you will be in charge of the catering this weekend? It's me, my king. I'll be having an important guest this weekend. It is very important that you give her a royal welcome. But most importantly, I'd like for you to prepare her a royal dish. We will be at our best, Your Majesty. Would you be needing anything to make this a success? My king, we have all we need. I will not accept anything other than the best. We will deliver, my king. I can trust you, eh? Yes, yes my king. king. I still insist there is no need to involve another girl. Uh, listen, uh, there is need for it. There is every need for it. We can't afford to make mistakes, otherwise our dreams will be shattered. Hey! I... With the discussion we had with Abegeri, I agree with him, Nana. All we need to do is to fortify Abegeri, and she can do the work. Both of you are not seeing what I am seeing. Yeah? The battle ahead is tough. Very, very tough. And if... if I mean, we can't afford to make mistakes. I mean, to win this battle, we must have Viable alternatives. That is it. So, so what is keeping her? Uh, well, she will soon be here, don't worry. Uh, from all indication, I understand that you know this game, you know what you're doing. <laughs> all we need to do is just to follow your lead. <laughs> that is it. Now you are talking. Eh? Now listen, just trust me on this. This one, trust me. We will smile at the end of the day. Eh? We will smile at the end of the day. This is Chenno. <laughs> Uh, I guess uh, she's the one knocking. Uh, come in, please. Greetings, my elders. Oh, well, uh, but you kept us waiting. Why? I'm so sorry about that. Please, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, so let's get down to it. Sit down. Okay, thank you very much. So, just accept that you're wrong. Period. Mama, I didn't do anything wrong. Eh? Why would JT come into this house without my knowledge? Why? Well, he said he called you and you refused to pick your call. The reason he shouldn't have come here in the first place. I don't want to have anything to do with him again or by force. Ha! Are you still angry with him? To be honest with you, Mama, I am still very much angry with him. Eh? Can you imagine? Oh, you told me you are forgiving him. Mama, I have forgiven him, but I cannot forget. Hey, hey JT, Mama, I cannot forget. I can't. I can't forget. Tell this young man to his face that you don't want him again. Than this your hide and seek game. Mama, because I bato also. Also, again, let's discuss. Let's talk about this one. Let's deal with this one once and for all, Mama. I don't want to have anything to do with JT again. It is over. I have moved on. Let him do the same. Come in. 
Greetings, my princess. You have news for me? Yes, my princess. Speak. Her name is Adaugo. She's from this kingdom. Her parents are late. She is a tailor by profession. For my findings, um, she's from a good home. What is the name of her late father? Chief Ugochinere Ifekumelu Dike. Her father was an honorable to my grandfather. Yes, my princess. I see. Thank you very much, Andy. You're welcome, my princess. You may go. Thank you, my princess. Um, you all know that I am not the birthday type. But you see, my sister, the princess, has dragged me out here for a very good reason. To honor one who has proven to be a loyal servant. Andy, step forward a little. That's it. Look at him. <laughs> it's your day today. Uh, <laughs> you're grinning ear to ear. Um, Andy, you came in here as a kid when my father, the late Ifade Kamwane, was king of Isionyanato. And even after he passed on, you remained loyal. You stayed with us. And now, look at you. You have grown. And we are proud of you. I love you. My sister loves you, and that is why we're celebrating you today. You are indeed a loyal servant, and we wish you nothing but the best. And we say a very big happy birthday to you. Thank you, happy Majesty. Birthday. And for being a loyal servant, I have decided to increase your pay by 50%. My Thank father you. once told me that the best way to appreciate one that has done very well is to give them more work. Uh, and for that reason, I have decided to promote you from just a palace guard to my personal servant. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. So, yeah, it is safe to say that you're my PA now. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Thank you. My personal assistant. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I pray that you shall experience more love, more fulfillment for the rest of your days here. Um, I want you to celebrate with your peers. It's your day. Make it as fun and as memorable as you can. Thank you. Uh, I love you from a special place in my heart. And I hope that those that came after you would learn what loyalty means from you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I believe my work is done here. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Thank, Thank you so you much, brother, you. for honoring my invitation. And I'm sure Andy here is grateful and he appreciates this. I am sure. So much. I am yes, sure he's majesty. grateful. I will work harder for the betterment of this palace and the kingdom at large. <laughs> I trust you. Thank Have fun. You. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So. I believe everyone is excited. Yes. <laughs> Let's say congratulations to Andy. Congratulations! <laughs> so this is now the new PA, personal assistant to the king. Mm -hmm. Andy, congratulations. Congra okay. Congratulations. Right, let's move in. <clears throat> everyone grab a call. <clears throat> um, 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 hold on, hold on. China <laughs> Because. Always the busy one. <laughs> okay, um, before we move on, we would cut the cake and sing a happy birthday song for Andy. Okay? At the spelling of love, Andy, you will cut your cake. Love which signifies the love we all have for you here. You are loved, Andy. Mm. And I want you to always remember that, okay? Thank you, Your Majesty. Erima, now you can open the cake. Okay, my friend.
prophet to tell us that the princess is in love with Andy. I don't think so. And that's because you have eyes, but you cannot use them to see. The princess is only being nice to the poor guard. <laughs> Jane, I am surprised you cannot see what is happening right under your nose. Listen, the princess is a lively person, okay? <laughs> On my birthday, both of you witnessed it that she gifted me a wristwatch. I know. And that was because your father personally told her to take good care of you while you serve in the palace. Honestly, I don't think that what the princess displayed back there is just being nice. Something is attached to it. You know what? Both of you are entitled to your own opinions, okay? <laughs> Well, you are right, but it's just one day, one faithful day, the truth will come to light. Let's go. Andy. Yeah. You didn't tell us you were having an affair with the princess. Wait, what do you mean that? What kind of a question is that? Because I do not understand what you guys are talking about. Can you please shed more light? I don't understand. Andy, did you see what the princess did back there? He dragged the king to attend your birthday. <laughs> Have you ever seen the king attend anyone's birthday? See, bro, all I can say is this. You're too much. But in all you do, remember me in your kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> can you just stop this madness already? Can you just stop all this nonsense already? How is it even possible for me to date the princess? She's just been nice to me. Please, turn down that nonsense down. Will, will you stop this, this, nice. this, this, this talk, Joe? See, let me tell you. We are all guys. We know what thing they happen for this palace. Exactly. And just so you know, one thing about a woman who is in love is that she can never, never hide her feelings. Mom, <laughs> I am totally disappointed in all of you. How is it even possible? For me to date the princess. How? Are you guys thinking at all? Bros, calm down. Leave that in. What makes you think is not possible? Would the princess get herself pregnant? Oh, I, I yeah. don't know. She needs a man like Andy to do the job. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> now I can see that you guys need to get your head checked. You're all sick. Sir? Get back to your jobs. See, see. Connection with the ancestors of the land. Hold it right there, old man. What did you just say? I, Adugo, we do what? No, no, no. Don't misunderstand me. It's not the kind of ritual that you know. Listen, this is a ritual that is deeply rooted in our culture as a people. And we cannot do without it. Please, please, don't, don't even try it. Don't patronize me with this tale. Ritual is ritual. I do not partake in your tradition. Now tell me, why do you want to get me entangled in your rituals? My king! Why do you want to get me entangled in your rituals? Adugo, calm down. Calm down. Please. When you do not understand something, then it has a power to upset you. But I need you to trust me and trust the process. He told me about it. I gave him the go-ahead to have this conversation with you. So please, calm down and let him finish. No, my king, I will never let him finish. Already he has said what you both want from me. I will never go through any ritual process. Not today. Not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>